Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And today we're going to end our tour of the server, I think. There's only a few more things. This tunnel goes down a ways to the west, but uh, we're we're farther west of the the spawn island. But let's, uh, let's go check out a couple things. First off is the custom map area. So here is the custom map area. So this is... So this area was was laid out of uh, xfx built this um, we've got a desert temple here or a, a big desert temple i'm not sure if this was originally a regular one and he just kind of expanded it or what but uh, so we've got concrete powder in different colors here and a big area that corresponds to the boundaries of a map if you And you can see here, we got glass hanging out over the top to help prevent some spawning, I'm not sure. And glass doesn't, clear glass does not show up in maps. So this is, uh, so if you go lay different color concrete powder on, oh, that didn't go as planned. Uh, so if you lay different colored concrete powder on top of this ground of concrete powder and then grab a map and go uh, map it and wander around the map area, you fill out the map with whatever design you lay down here, which is super clever. And there's different materials to do different things. This is concrete powder. Yeah. So this is our, this is the crash space business card, essentially, which is kind of cool. Anyway. So that's this, um, and Barb makes things has made tremendous use of this in making the uh, crash space replica. But not too far from here, although I don't, I'm not sure I would feel comfortable trying to navigate there in the overworld, is our modified jungle area. And by not too far, I mean down this big long hallway in the in the Nether. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to build since there's another fortress right there is picking up a lot of uh, blaze fire while I was trying to build this bridge out over a big sea of lava. But we have two things down here, two portals. One is uh, they both go to jungle area, but one this one here, which we'll visit first, is a little island that's all jungle biome. Hi, Mr. Pigman. And I flattened it out and been replacing everything with dirt. And this is a spot where you can get uh, ocelots. They're a fairly rare spawn, but I burned down all the trees and then I flattened it out and put in grass. And I think, yeah, see the sand here is beach. So I extended the junk grass all the way out to the jungle. And then this goes out and Oh, something happened there. I don't know. I don't remember burning that down, but it may have happened. Who knows? So this is a spot where if you want, you can come and uh, get some ocelots and parrots. They do spawn out here. They're relatively rare spawns, though. Uh, but then there's another thing. Should be right over here. So let's see if we can just hop over there. Yeah, right here. There we go. Pretty close. And this is a little uh, aviary. All the birds seem to be gone. Why are there no untamed parrots in here? There were a bunch last time I was here. Huh. Interesting. So there were untamed parrots in there, which you could breed and, and tame. Uh, interesting. 
There's some tamed parrots up here. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Yeah, so there's a, some other stuff. So this is also jungle biome. And so ocelots and parrots spawn in here. So you can uh, go around and capture them if you need. But of course, I've got a ton of birds and, and cats already. So, uh, and I think everyone who wants any pretty much have. So, so that's that. Okay, one last far-flung place. And then we'll be done with our tour. So all the way down here, there's the, this portal is out to a, just a random village that we found. Uh, but it's not too exciting. No one's really done anything with that. It just picked a random set up random portal and it just happened to generate a portal in the overworld right next to a to a village. But there's another one farther down here, which this path is a little long. And if I had any more need to come out here with any frequency, I think I would put a rail in here, but it's it's one of those things where it's just long enough that it's a pain in the butt, but not quite, I don't know, it, not quite long enough that I've sort of motivated myself to, to put a rail in out here. So it's off the, the path a little bit, and again, uh, like all the all the stuff in the nether, it's over a big ocean of lava. And this is another village. Where for some reason we have a bunch of horses. People have been breeding up the horses and we, we fenced off the village to keep the villagers safe. And it should be all lit up and everything. And then we there were horses around here because this is a nice plains biome, I believe. And so we just started breeding horses and, and testing them for jumping ability and all that good stuff. So this is the horse village is what we call it. And this is pretty much the farthest bit out that I'm aware of that anyone's actually built anything. Um, so the only other thing to show, which I've been to recently, I think on camera. Hey guys. Hi. Um, is I think Barb makes things built called Valeria. So let's, uh, let's head back over there. So while I fly along here, in case you don't remember, the reason I'm doing the server tour is because it was the last little bit waiting for 1.13 for the Spigot 1.13 update, which they still haven't released the full build of yet, but the... <laughs> The test build seems stable to me and I've done I've done testing with them. So I think I'm just gonna bite the bolt and do the update uh, on this weekend Saturday. So today's Thursday the 20th, so the 22nd, I guess. Um, I will record that process and opening up that other portal and sort of initial 1.13 exploration. Uh, but that will not be posted probably for a couple weeks because I have a few episodes of this server tour that I've got kind of in the can that we will uh, want to get up before posting that. The temple. It's directly on the path home, so I'm sure it's already been raided. And another one. Also, I'm sure that's been raided. You know, I forgot something. Uh, out this way, so this this portal here goes out to the the stronghold, and that's where Pete and Smash Smash's place is. But if I go down here, and this is long enough that I have put in rail, we get out to a couple things: the Guardian Farm, which I've shown on camera fairly recently. But also, hello, what are you doing there? but also the Mushroom Island, which I haven't been out to in a while. So let's go check those out. And then we'll get to Valeria and then we'll be done. I should make this portal a little bigger, I think. Anyway, this is the little island that was nearby within eyesight of the Guardian, the Ocean Monument, 
that I turned into the Guardian Farm. We'll go over there in a moment, but over next to it on this way, so we're facing this way, we're facing south, so I don't want to get lost because it's possible to do. This is a giant mushroom island. Not, it's not super giant, but it's it's pretty good sized, and it is connected to another biome here. But this area here is so remote compared to most everything else, and we have mushrooms here. Hey guys! So the cool thing about these, of course, is that uh, nothing, no other mobs spawn out here. So this is a nice little safe spot, and there's the giant mushrooms. That one got damaged, not sure how. Um, but yeah, and then you can come out, and if you have, and of course the saw the mycelium, so you can uh, harvest some of this, and then it spreads to dirt, so you can grow your own, which is pretty cool. And if you have bowls, you can milk these guys for mushroom soup. Okay, so this is, if I'm facing this way, I'm facing east. And this is, see, it's easy to get turned around. Okay, so if we go out this way, we should then, yep, there we go. Right back out to the Guardian Farm. Nice. Now there is actually an entrance down over here. Let's see if I can find it without drowning. Oh, you can see the guardians going though. Oh, I'm not. I'm not seeing it. There's a hole in the ground here. Oh, here it is. I should be okay in terms of health. Nice. So this is the backside of the Guardian Farm with the item elevator. The main part of the Guardian Farm, however, is out here. And look at this. Yep, they fall down pretty quickly. So it's going, um, there's a huge grid of hoppers down here, which doesn't seem to be causing a tremendous amount of lag and I mean, there's a little bit of stuttering in some of it here, but there's a lot of stuff going on. So I have collections going out to elevators in each corner here. Or going up, right? There we go. So, and then I've got uh, a sorting system on this side to collect all the stuff. So we have the prismarine shards and prismarine crystals and... <clears throat> ink sacks because we do occasionally get squid spawning in there and then fish and fish and f oh, I've cleaned the, I've cleaned out the fish and then this is overflow where we get stuff that doesn't quite get picked up let me show you the sorting or the upstairs here because I think it's pretty cool um, maybe not super practical there is a gargantuan sea of or lake of lava over here and which I used to discuss bows of items excess items so anything that goes in if the overflow chests get full and more stuff comes in that goes into the lava lake so here I'm using and I think this system will continue to work in 1.13 I think I hope so this is a water path that comes from the other corner of the other item elevator over here all this stuff comes up here it hits this thing if they actually come up there we go there we go Blop. and this is the thing I found if you if have stuff come up into a straight line of flowing water in a channel like this on top of ice or compressed ice they will sometimes get stuck in between blocks and you will lose some some items and so by putting a little s curve in here it uh, it seems to prevent that from happening so that's why that is structured like that and then i've got these trap doors periodically to allow stuff to come along and then 
this here just drops down a level to where this item elevator comes up Plop. and then the stuff comes along here and it goes into a loop a water loop and uh, stuff comes along and this runs along top of hoppers um, hopper minecarts into hoppers so that stuff can get sucked through the ice and um, so yeah so this then goes into the sorting system and uh, and if it gets past all the sorting items including the overflow hopper it gets looped around and just goes in a in a big loop so we've got stuff not a ton of stuff is flowing through I mean, there's stuff here the nice thing about using the hopper minecarts is they suck a lot of items really quickly so this works and I suppose you could uh, use like pistons to push the ice down onto so they the hopper minecarts are embedded in it and then it would be a block shorter but you know no big deal anyway so this is where i get all the sea lanterns and stuff because goodness knows we use a lot of them so i'm looking forward to my little water exit over there next to the farm i'm looking forward to putting in bubble columns there so I can enter and exit from the sky a little bit more easily than coming over here and taking the rail over uh, and then the other the other odd thing is that when I got up here I just had this sort of like oh let me let me see how far we are from a stronghold here through an eye of ender <laughs> and it just plopped right here this little island where I was staging all the work for the guardian farm is right on top of another stronghold now I would sometimes it's easier just to go down there go through the end portal and then through the return portal and end up back home however I slept at the map area so that's not going to be too helpful so onward to Valeria okay so that's pretty much everything to the west of the the community area if we go past my portal here and over here towards spawn island and then hang a left here big long tunnel goes down here to a large mesa area that we've been mining for hardened clay uh, but there is a side tunnel here s somewhere I thought it was closer than this I thought it was much closer than this no it's coming up here here we are so this is this is a pretty long tunnel I should probably put a mine cart in here and this goes off to an area that we found it was hilly and very dramatic looking and bar mix things started building structures on it with with bridges and then there's a giant interior area and she calls it Valeria and it goes this portal goes right onto the inside up and it's a snowy area and there we go it's pretty cool this is a neat little area so there's bridges here I kind of go over stuff and I get a little lost navigating around here and it gets dark out there at night um, so it's a little dangerous but in here it's it's fine I think um, so this goes big tree I'm probably just I'm running around a circle here it looks like yes literally okay so now we go around this way and we make our way into the big interior room oh there's the there's a beacon which is over the room i think so if i go down this way and ignore the zombies here we go this is a big interior space look at this and giant map wall pretty much of the of the whole server um there's a bed and then this this hallway is just huge and there's these stone pillars and it's all very cool Plop. and it's funny that the item frames render before the the maps do but 
So let's see how much of this we can see. You can tell what it is. So this is the community area. Right up here. That's the community area. Uh, and then this is VexFX's place. The Cove. Bar makes things has a little squid farm out there. That's our iron farm and the, the record generator and the dye farm. And out over this way is the amusement park. So this is where the racetrack is and, and all that good stuff. Um, the Mesa. Where are we at right now? We're out over this way. This is Spawn Island. This is my base. You can see the E Elytra landing pad there and the little glass cover to the artificial village. So this stuff is all out to the west of Spawn. And then out this way you have Risk and Seas Place. And the witch farm is out over here. You can see a starting of the witch farm, but these maps have not been updated. Oh, actually, that's not bad. It's got most of it. Uh, however, <clears throat> because so much of it is glass, it doesn't render on the maps. So there's the tree farm and the sort of the main plot, the AFK platform. And this is the sorting thing. And then those lights there are the glowstone in the roof of my sort of house thing. And this is the empty platform. And you can see the carrot part of the carrot farm there. So this does need to be updated somewhat, but the, the witch farm is never going to show entirely in there. And then this is the Golden Gate Bridge in front of Risk and Seas Place. This is pretty cool. So we are somewhere. We're somewhere up here, I think. But I'm not sure where. This is the, the Mesa. Pete and Smash's place is around here. The Stronghold is right there. <laughs> This is pretty crazy. This is a pretty good representation map of of the server, the area that we've explored so far. It must have taken a lot of work to get all these maps. And here's a crazy zoomed out view of it, I guess. Anyway, so there we go. This is the, ser the Minecraft Land Party server season two, as it is so far. We will be updating to 1.13 very soon and then we will be exploring the other portal will go way out over way out over here and uh we'll start exploring new lands we should get dolphins and and the various tropical fish in the waters around here um, turtles we will not because none of these are warm biomes which are needed for the turtles i think so we'll have to we'll have to import some turtles but there we go that's it next time you see me we will be updating the server and having fun with the fishes thank you for watching this is theron it's been minecraft land party and i will see you next time bye